Hey, hey, it's your girl Laura Messiah here, and we are in the final video in our little mini series for personal stylists. Now, this mini series is just a little taste of some knowledge and information to help you build and grow your personal styling business. However, if you really, really want to learn how to start a personal styling business that is most both profitable and purpose-driven, then you definitely should check out my new program, Style Boss Academy, which launches on January 20th, 2022. But until then, let's get into this final video. And the topic of this video is how to create a style mood board. Mood boards are so, so, so important if you're a personal stylist. The reason being is you need some sort of visual description of the style you're going to cultivate for your client. So I'm going to tell you a little story. When I first started my styling business, I, you know, I was brand new at this. I had done celebrity styling before. I had had one client and it was just a home run. Man, we crushed it. <laughs> I cleaned out her closet. I brought her new clothes. I dressed her up. She was super duper happy. She was so happy that she referred me to another client who referred me to many other clients. But on the second client that I had, I remember sitting down and talking with her during the consultation, and she said that she wanted her style to be edgy. She's like, I'm super edgy. I want a super edgy style. She's like, I love wearing black. Um, that's what I'm looking for. So in my stylist mind, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm thinking Rick Owens. I'm thinking Helmut Lang. I'm thinking like black leather leggings and a cool blazer and like a, a, a great t-shirt. I'm, I got this whole vision, right? So when I created the mood board for her, very important, when I created the mood board that had those types of images on it, she was like, whoa. She said, I appreciate the fact that you think I'm cool enough to pull this stuff off, but this is so not me. I said, okay, well, what did you mean when you said edgy, black, cool? She said, I'll never forget this. She goes, like Ellen DeGeneres, edgy like Ellen. I'm like, Ellen? Ellen's the least edgy person ever. <laughs> like The definition of edgy has Ellen nowhere near it. But in her mind, she thought like being funny, you know, was edgy. She thought dressing in an androgynous way. This was like way back in what, 2009. She's like, that was like very edgy. So I was so glad that I had created a mood board. And from that instance, I learned to ask more questions during the consultation to avoid <laughs> being so off. Um, but I was so glad that I had created a mood board to show her before I went shopping. Because could you imagine if I had gone shopping based on what I thought she wanted without confirming it visually and pulled all these clothes and had her hate everything at the fitting? She'd probably never hire me again. This particular client, I went on to work with her for five years straight working on her wardrobe. So this is why creating mood boards are so, so important. So what are the steps to creating a incredible mood board? Step one is to gather images. You want to find images that are going to speak to your client's style. Now, I highly suggest that you constantly create a database of images. Best way to do this, honestly, is Pinterest. Just like gather stuff up on Pinterest. Anything stylish that catches your eye that would appeal to the types of clients that you are trying to attract. Because the worst thing that can happen is it's you book a client, hooray, and all of a sudden it's in motion, right? She wants a new look, she needs it by a certain date, and you don't have two weeks to pull together images for her. You want to crank out a mood board for this client pretty darn quickly so you can get to shopping and get the client the results that she's after. So the less time you have to spend looking for images, the better. So already have a bunch collected up. I like to find images on Pinterest. I like to find images on um, 
like Vogue Runway. I like to find images from uh, celebrity uh, photos. You can pull up pictures. A lot of clients like clothing that came from TV shows that have great style or movies. So I'll pull images there and keep them up in one space so I can pull the best of the best for their mood board. So step one, gathering images. Step two is getting a tool together. You don't have to build the tool. You just have to find which one you like the best. Getting a tool together that you can show, you'll end up showing your client the collage on. So some people, they just make a fresh board on Pinterest and send the client the Pinterest board, which I have done that. I do, well, I don't work with clients one-on-one -on -one anymore, but I used to do that. I'd send them a Pinterest board and then we'd make a collage out of their favorite things from the Pinterest board. But some people just use Pinterest and call it a day. You can use Pinterest. I like to uh, use pages on Apple. It's just like a little desktop application. And I pull the images and I use that to make a collage. There's another uh, program that's called, let me confirm the name. I think it's called Milanote. Yeah, Milanote. You can create uh, mood boards on there that are also like linkable and you can add notes. You can make collages on Canva. You can make them on Photoshop. A lot of people still like to make them the old fashioned way, which is cutting out images and you know using a glue stick and putting them on a foam core board, which that's great for your own style. If you wanna improve your own style and you wanna cut things out and put that board in your closet, that's awesome. But when you're working with clients, how are you gonna deliver this clunky piece of poster board to them, right? You're communicating over email nine times out of 10. So having something digital is better. So picking a tool like Canva, Pages, Milanote, or Photoshop is your best bet. The third step is to collage all these images together. So if you all haven't made a collage yet, I don't know where you've been, okay? We've been making collages since we were in grade school. So you want to just create a digital collage I like to pack in as many images as I can. I don't like to leave a bunch of white space. I don't like to have millions of pages of mood boards to overwhelm the client. I want them to see one page that has an array of images where they can say, you get me. You are free to go shopping. The vision is clear. So I'm gonna edit in a couple of mood boards so you can see them to see what I'm talking about. Um, but Delivering this collage, to me, seeing everything together helps the client see the full picture. This is why I don't just deliver a Pinterest board because then they can, they can nitpick too much, right? I don't like those shoes. I don't like this. You're like, no, this is the overall mood. And make sure to tell your client, I'm not going to pull this exact coat. This coat could be from like 2003, but this is the overall vibe that I'm going to be going after while I'm shopping for you. So in conclusion, mood boards, key of the utmost important, must use them when you're styling clients. Step one, gather your images. Step two, find a tool that works for you. And step three, get your collage on and deliver it to your client. Now, if you don't have a client, you, I need to help you get your first client. So linked in the comments below is a free ebook, book your first styling client. I'm giving you five secrets to growing a successful business as a personal stylist, a business, a business that makes you money, a business that consistently gets you clients. So start off with that free ebook, but also, also coming very soon on January 20th, 2022, it's a lot of twos, Style Boss Academy is officially launching, okay? I am back in the game of teaching stylists how to create businesses. My brand new course, Style Boss Academy, is incredible. It is a 10-week business program for personal stylists. I am not going to teach you how to clean out a closet. I am not going to teach you how to go shopping. I'm not going to do any of those things. What I am going to teach you is how to build a business, how to find your ideal client, how to leverage your personal story and experience to connect 
with potential clients, how to create content, how to create services, how to market your services, how to sell and close on your services, how to expand your business into an empire, how to make real money working as a personal stylist. These are all of the things that I have learned over the past 12 years in business. Over the course of my career, I have made millions and millions and millions of dollars working as a personal stylist. And I'm going to give you all of that wisdom inside of Style Boss Academy, which launches on January 20th. So while you wait for that to happen, definitely download that free ebook that is linked below. I hope to see you in the program. If not, come hang out with me on social, subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well for lots of tips and just good old fashioned social media fun. So I really hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next video.